Hello, I'm Karen Larson with two works for you. Mishaps in the weather have kept EMSA busy throughout the day, along with those icy and wet roads, streets and highways looking very deceptive. There were multiple wrecks all across green country. EMSA medics responding to 102 motor vehicle collisions in Tulsa, 81 falls and seven cold exposure calls. EMSA is reminding everyone to layer up, cover your hands and face as much as possible and wear shoes or boots that help protect you from the cold. Well, imagine finding out you have COVID simply by blowing into a tube instead of having a swab up your nose. Scientists are working on a breathalyzer test for COVID. It works similar to an alcohol breathalyzer, except it can detect the virus. The goal is to identify whether a person has COVID, even if they don't have symptoms. So far, researchers believe that they can make the COVID breathalyzer more than 90% accurate, and they hope to mass produce it by the end of summer. If you're thinking of taking a painkiller before you get the COVID vaccine, you may actually want to rethink that idea. Avoid taking painkillers before and after getting the shot. Vaccines work by tricking our body into thinking we have the virus so we can build up an immune defense. If you've experienced soreness, headache, or fever after getting a vaccine, well, that means the immune system is doing its job and that the vaccine is working. The CDC offers some helpful advice on handling pain and discomfort from the vaccine. To reduce pain, you can apply a clean, cool washcloth over the area and continue to exercise your arm. For a fever, drink plenty of fluids and dress lightly. Now, if you do have to take an over-the-counter painkiller, opt for something with acetaminophen like Tylenol because it won't disturb the immune response quite as much. Now to our 10-day forecast. Look at these freezing temperatures ahead of us. Only in the 20s for the next four days, plunging down to a high of 15 for Saturday and single digits on Sunday. So be careful out there. ODOT says please stay home if you can. Stay with Two Works for you for updates throughout the day.